okay hello friends uh, welcome back to my channel iid okay in this video i am going to show you some important facts and uh, uh, good specifications about this permanent magnet dc motor now uh, so as i told you in my previous videos uh, all permanent magnet dc motors are also generators so this is also a generator and a dc motor it has a mounting frame and that has four holes uh, for mounting it uh, on any hardboard or cardboard whatever you want it has a pre attached gearbox and it has this is the shaft and uh, these are the uh, two terminals uh, uh, and uh, one important thing about this is that it is a low current but a really high voltage generator and the generatable voltage from this dc motor is around 300 volts and uh, th these are some of the loads that i am going to uh, operate with uh, with this motor uh, so you can uh, uh, you can generate electricity by rotating the shaft and connecting the load uh, to the terminals and also you can use it as a motor by connecting a battery over here and then you will see the rotation of the shaft mm, here okay so uh, one by one i am going to show you the steps uh, this is 100 watt 230 volts uh, bulb incandescent bulb that we use in our house this is a 24 volt dc motor and this is a rescon 10000 microfarad 285 volts capacitor uh, this uh, we can we have to charge this capacitor to use it as, uh, in spot welding purposes okay uh, now i have connected a multimeter that is con uh, that is connected uh, to uh, that is pointing to 1000 volt generation uh, since the voltage uh, generated by this uh, motor will cross around 200 volts so i have uh, i have pointed it to 1000 volts generation dc and i am going to use this crank uh, to rotate the shaft of the generator and it is uh, i think it is a 24 is to 1 uh, the gear ratio is 24 is to 1 okay so you will see the generated voltage wait a minute i have to tighten it up yeah it's done okay uh, all you got to do is uh, watch the lcd screen okay start uh, you can see a simple turn gives a uh, easily generates around 100 volts and it is 96 99 102 130 okay now i'm increasing the speed it is 221 increasing more so it was around 252 which I could reach with my hands and when we uh, connected uh, to the normal uh, wind generator as a wind generator or a, a, to any other motor that is going to rotate it uh, then of course the voltage will uh, increase and it will all it might even go beyond the rated voltage that is 300 volts and uh, this generated voltage uh, it all depends upon the RPM at which the shaft is rotated the more the RPM the higher is the voltage and I don't think that uh, uh, there is much limit to that uh, but uh, there is a limit here to the speed at which it uh, the shaft can be rotated okay so you saw the uh, uh, voltage generated i am disconnecting it now i am going to uh, show you the uh, generation of uh, uh, energy by connecting a 100 watt 230 volts bulb and i am going to rotate the shaft and you will see the gen uh, see it glowing and thus it will indicate the uh, generation Okay, go. So, I hope you saw uh, the bulb glowing. So, uh, now I'm going to uh, change the load. Yeah, okay, now I've successfully connected this 24 volts DC motor uh, directly to the generator and you will see its shaft rotating at a really high speed. And uh, and you will see that the uh, R RPM of the of that motor will depend upon the rotation. Uh, the speed of rotation at which I will rotate the shaft of this generator. Okay. Okay, it is rotating at a really high speed. Uh, it was a really high speed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now I have connected the uh, uh, the rescon capacitor, and it is a 285 volts, uh, 10,000 microfarad capacitor, as I told you. Now you will see that when I will rotate it. Uh, some energy is going to transfer from here uh, to this capacitor and it will store the energy and as soon as well as I will stop rotating the uh, shaft of this motor then the energy stored in this capacitor will come back to the motor and it will operate as a as a normal motor okay okay you will see the difference uh, at present I am charging it because I am rotating uh, with my hands and the mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy and is transferring and storing in the capacitor now I'm going to leave the sh shaft and you will see it rotating. Okay. 
okay you can see it is still rotating okay so i didn't uh, i didn't consider that fact uh, that uh, gravity is going to change because of the rotation of this uh, crank so i'm this time i'm going to hold it because it will it will keep on vibrating okay at present i am uh, charging the capacitor it is charged and now it is operating like a normal motor you can see okay it is operating like a normal motor and it will keep on operating like a normal motor until that capacitor capacitor bank completely discharges and some people think that it is the moment of energy because it because of which it is uh, it keeps on rotating but it is not that <laughs> it is the capacitor bank and uh, uh, then uh, it is still operating because the capacitance is really high there it is around 10000 microfarad uh, and uh, that much amount of capacitance with that high voltage is really rare to find okay uh, now one more thing that i am going to show you is so those who uh, who know power electronics know that the diode uh, transfers energy only in one direction so uh, in uh, so the way i have connected it it is only going to transmit energy from this uh, this generator to the capacitor and it is not going to transfer and uh, do the back transfer i mean uh, after i stop rotating the shaft the, uh, the energy from the capacitor will not come back to the motor it will be uh, it will uh, be there Uh, for uh, for some time until it discharges because of the air resistance okay so i'm charging the capacitor this way yeah it is charging and this is a thing that uh, when the capacitor or any load is connected and then the shaft rotation becomes much difficult okay so you can see that it is not rotating now Uh, it is not rotating uh, because of the diode and then now the ch uh, charge has already been stored now there is one thing that i am going to show you i am going to use this 100 volt uh, watt bulb and i am glowing uh, i am going to glow it with this capacitor bank uh, at present it should be charged up to uh, around 115 or something volts not uh, not around 200 volts but at around 115 volts and you will see the bulb glow or oh, you can see it is still glowing Okay, now it is completely discharged. Okay, so it stores energy, and uh, then you can use it for any load for uh, for for some time. So now the last step that I am going to show you, I am going to charge it again. So it is charged, and let us uh, let's measure the voltage that has been. uh trans transferred to the capacitor uh see it like this it is 153 uh, and it, it will keep on reducing because of the air resistance now um now i'm going to show you how it works as a spot welder okay uh so okay i'm going to use this rod and i have uh, uh, used uh, used this rotated this foam uh, and using it as an insulator and uh, i'm using it because uh, this uh, spark there is a lot of uh, uh, spark coming out of it uh, which can damage your eyes or your clothes so i'm going to go far and uh, and uh, short circuit this capacitor from far and you will see the sparking over here so okay at present it is uh, charged to 150 volts you will see okay so as i told you about the spot welding you can see that it is uh, welded it is welded it is stuck to it it is like this okay try to use a lot of power to remove it and uh, you can see uh, the welding welding points like uh, this was the point this and this and this is the point there where, where maximum current transfer took place that created a really hot point which melted the uh, the metals and they got stuck to each other so uh, this was all about it and uh, there is one last thing that i am going to tell you please don't touch the terminals of the uh, condenser uh, of the capacitor and the uh, and the terminals of the generator because it is a high voltage generator and it will uh, uh, it will generate a lot amount of voltage in that will easily damage you you will get electrocuted so use all all safety precautions while using it 
and please hit like if you like my video and don't forget to subscribe for uh, for future videos thank you so much for watching it